I'm Chloe. And I'm Charlie. And this is, is what, what we're, we're doing, doing right now. now. Out here in the United States of America, today is the day that many of us have been looking forward to with varying amounts of anxiety. For today is election day. I'm about to head to the polling place and cast my vote for Hillary Clinton because Donald Trump Just because Donald Trump. This the polling place. This is the same place where I voted for Bernie Sanders. I done voted. And now it's time for some celebratory Chipotle. This is a bit of a weird thing. We haven't heard from Todd all day today. It's currently 12.30. He normally doesn't sleep in this late, and usually by like 9 or 10 in the morning he sent me a message just wanting to check in for the day. I'm hoping that he's just sleeping in. I just texted his brother. His brother is currently driving over to his apartment to make sure that Todd is okay. And Todd just texted me. Apparently he was sleeping off a bad headache. So that's good that he's okay-ish. Headache's not good, but alive is good. Okay, I'm done with complexly work for today. I just finished working on SciShow Kids. It is very dark in here. There we go. Now I'm gonna head over to the Cinema Studios office. We have a meeting. More Kate Tectonic stuff has to get worked on today. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye on the election. I just finished editing a vlog, so that's gonna be uploading shortly. I got a package from Amazon, and I have no idea what it is. It's, uh, it's envelopes. This is not exciting at all. I assume Todd ordered envelopes and put my name on it. Todd, your envelopes are here. Todd Williams. I want some, some meat, please. Uh, you look kind of yellow, so I'm gonna fix the, uh... Well, that's a jaundice. That's my, that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my liver. I just, well, that maybe looks a little bit too blue. That is that's way the too blue. blue. <laughs> okay. I have sort of fixed the uh, color temperature. What I was going to tell you oh, is that this next episode of the vlog that's going to go live is going to cost us $74 because there's some drone footage that I took in California that got corrupted in the camera. And I spent probably at least six hours of my life trying to repair it with various tools, and I cannot. So I am resorting to mp4repair.org that's gonna charge me $74 for this footage. No, I think that is a terrible mistake. I have no other option. You don't have to include it. I do though. There's a whole part of the video where I'm like, I'm gonna fly the drone over this really beautiful canyon area in $74? California. $74? I need to get this <laughs> clip in the video. So how are they, like, how are they gonna fix it? Like, they've written some kind of software that is really good at figuring out what is wrong with the video file and fixing it. Specifically what's happening is that the camera shut off before it had a chance to, like, wrap up the video with a pretty little bow. It's missing a header file that gets opened first by whatever codec and is like, oh, here's the information I need to know to decode this video. One of the tools that I tried got sort of close it could decode like once every second or so an actual frame would show up, but otherwise it was just garbly and green. If you are going to do this, I'm gonna to plead to the audience here to please become a patron on Patreon <laughs> or buy some merch, links below, because this is an absurd amount of money to be spending on a vlog that you know, 3,000, 4,000 people will see, in my, in my opinion. Well, yeah, the AdSense revenue from this video is gonna be like $5. Yeah, that is, that is an absurd amount of money. You can't spend that much money in art when you can't afford the art supplies. Clinton's chances are up to 78%. Oh, that was a good one. Currently 44 electoral votes for Clinton and 40 for Trump. The red states have been called for Trump, the blue ones for Clinton, and these aqua ones are partial results. You know what that means to me? What does that mean to you? That uh, I'm hungry. Well, freaking let's go get food. Hillary Clinton, 97, Donald Trump, 121. This is very tense for us, but people watching this video a month from now already know how this played out. So while fretting about this election, I just learned that Todd apparently almost died on Saturday. Also, there's someone vacuuming outside. That's yeah. not conducive to storytelling. I uh, procrastinated in, in reading the script. You guys left here, I don't know, like around one or something, midnight, whatever. I was here till like 2, 2.30. At that point, I was already just like falling asleep at the keyboard, so I said, enough is enough. 
Enough is enough. And so I said, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm going home. So I'm driving on, on uh, Spruce? Spruce. Spruce That's Street. Spruce Street. And so what I've been using instead of chapstick is Neosporin. Uh, on my lips because it just it seems to work better than chapstick and my lips have been very bothersome lately so I have my little tube of uh, Neosporin and I'm driving put it on and I just happen to squeeze too much and a whole bunch of it went into my mouth and so I'm like oh, oh, oh no and so I'm, I'm kind of like oh god okay I can't spit it out in the car so I'm like okay so I pull over I'll tie the street I look there's no cars coming so I open the door and I spit it out but uh, as you folks at home don't know my car door uh, is kind of in, in pieces at the moment because my window is an issue with my window. I had to get it replaced. So anyway, the part that um, uh, connects and allows you to unlock the doors and roll down the windows and whatnot came off when I opened up the, the door and it tumbled out onto the street. So I, um, being the silly boy I am, I guess did not double check to see if more cars are coming. So I pushed open the door and I poked my head out and I couldn't get it so I had to un unbuckle myself and I reached out to grab it and right at that, that point I heard this and this car, I felt it like on my hair. It was that close to like to taking my head off. But you were awake after that. I was. Uh, my heart was and I was I was I was a little scared. What's the moral of the story? Uh, don't procrastinate. Don't use Neosporin as chapstick. That was the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, really? Put it in your mouth. Well, no, normally, like I do, I put a little on my finger and then, you know, dab, dab, a little dab, do you? But this time I was like, <laughs> <Just> like <laughs> I'm like, uh. But what happened was, like, it got in right here, and, I'm, and I pressed too hard, and it just got a mouthful of Neosporin. That's not, it doesn't, it doesn't taste good. All of this live coverage is making me very nervous. Clinton's firewall could be crumbling. Trump wins Louisiana. That's not surprising. Prediction markets now have the Electoral College as being almost even money. It looks like exit polls showed Clinton beating her pre-election polls in most states, but she's actually underperforming them. I don't know, man. Also, Kelsey's here. I am currently editing a vlog in which you are sick, and here you are sick again. <laughs> It's not fair. Hillary's chance of winning the presidency is at 60%. Trump is at 38. It was just oh, at like no. 78, 20 minutes ago. That's what happens. No. That's what happens. That's not what happens. The Upshot, which is run by the New York Times, is currently giving Trump an 81% chance of becoming president. They're the New York Times. Are they owned by Fox News, please? They're the New York Times. They must be owned by Fox News. They're estimating that Clinton will win the popular vote by between one and two points, but Trump will get over 270 electoral votes. No. No? <laughs> no? And 538 has Clinton's chances down to 51%. Trump is up to 48. This is what we in the industry technically refer to as a bunch of balls. This is a bunch of balls. 538 has Trump up to 55%, Clinton at 44 Upshot still at 82% Trump. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pee and hope that when I come back, things look better. Yeah. Yeah, BRB. Ah, okay. Wasn't expecting to find both of you on the floor when I came in. Uh, Hillary Clinton won Virginia. It does look like if Trump wins that it's still gonna be one of the Clinton winning the popular vote and Trump winning the electoral college situations. That is how George Bush became president. Yep. Some of the news stations are starting to call Wisconsin for Trump. If that's true, very little chance of a Clinton win. We're probably looking at a President Trump. As of five minutes ago, all of the polls have closed, so all that is left is to count the votes. It looks like everybody is called Wisconsin for Trump, which means the only way that she can win is if she takes New Hampshire, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Minnesota. The Associated Press just called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump, which essentially means... The Associated Press has called the election for Donald Trump. Every vote should count. Several states are too close to call, so we're not going to have anything more to say tonight. So it looks like Clinton won't be conceding the election tonight. According to CNN, Clinton just called and conceded to Trump. I am I'm, I'm flabbergasted that this 
happened. If nothing else, this just highlights what a huge bubble I live in. Because someone like Donald Trump becoming president should have been so far from becoming reality with the way that I saw the world. Clearly, the way that I saw the world was wrong. There are a lot of thoughts spinning around in my head right now, and I hope that I'm able to collect them and make sense of them and communicate them in a way that makes sense. I see a lot of anger on the internet right now, and I don't think that that is helpful. It's obvious that people who feel the way that I feel, who think the way that I think, are very unhappy with these results. But if we want to make things better, if we want to make this country into what we want it to be, we can't sit and complain. We have to be proactive in bringing about the change that we want to see. It's very likely that in the next four years, we're going to see a lot of the progress that we've made over the last eight rolled back. All of the people who have access to healthcare right now that wouldn't may be in danger of losing that healthcare. All of the strides that we have made in bringing about marriage equality, all of these forward-thinking ideals are very likely to come under fire in the next four years. And regardless of whether or not those assaults are successful, we need to start right now preparing for four years from now so that we can set ourselves back on the course that we want to see. I don't know exactly what that means for me, you may not know what that means for you, but we all have a lot of work ahead of us right now. If we want to make the United States of America into a more empathetic country, a less divided country, and a country where everybody is treated as equals, we need to start taking action now. Music